Also following is a contingent from the Philippine Navy, of which our Grand Marshal is part of, being the commander of the Fleet Marine Ready Force of the Philippine Navy, Grand Marshal Brigadier General Edwin E. Amadar. Following is a contingent from the Philippine Army.
before us is the Kalolbon San Andres Civic Association representatives with the image under the care of the Arcelia family from San Andres Catanduanes. Thank you to Governor Bobby Kuwa of Catanduanes, Captain Leopoldo T. Arcelia Sr., and Mrs. Leonida C. Arcelia, and the Eagle Clark Shipping Philippines Incorporated. San Andres! One of the twelve apostles of Christ, St. Andrew, was also martyred on the cross. Feeling unworthy of dying in the same manner as the Savior, he asked for another form of crucifixion, thus the X-shaped cross of St. Andrew. The Spanish victory over the Chinese invader Limahong was attributed to St. Andrew's intercession. He was proclaimed the special protector of Intramuros in 1589 and the patron saint of the city of Manila. San Jose, Patron de la Iglesia Universal. This image is under the care of the Tenko family and owned by the late Alan Tenko, former president of the Cofradia de la Immaculada Concepcion Incorporated. Thank you to the Tenko, Rodriguez Tenko family of Baliwag, Bulacan for the participation of San Jose, Patron de la Iglesia Universal. And again, we remember Originally, with the image of San Joaquin, the images of St. Anne and the Child Mary are enshrined at the parish church in Hagonoy, Bulacan, established by the Augustinians in 1581. Thank you to the Metropolitan Manila Development Authority Band for accompanying the image of Santa Ana y Nina Maria de Hagonoy. for sponsoring the participation of the image. Santa Ana y Niña María de Hagonoy. It's held on the Saturday preceding the feast day of Apo Ana at Virgen María ng Hagonoy 
on July 26. Thank you again. Thank you to the San Roque 39 Band from Hagonoy, Bulacan. We have a large contingent from Hagonoy. Maraming salamat muli. Hindi sila maubos. Napakarami po ng ating mga kas... Maraming salamat uli. San... Ang susunod po nating image ay mula sa Pakil, Laguna. Z. Alcala featured this image in their works. On May 24, 1953, this image was crowned Nuestra Señora de los Dolores de Torumba. Angelista, Brother Christopher Kahima, Mr. Jerick Martizano, Mr. Alain Rolf Pasang, and the townsfolk of Pake Laguna. Maraming salamat po. Hindi nyo kami binigo. Thank you, parish priest and shrine rector, Reverend Father Jerry R. Oblepias. And the municipal mayor, Honorable Vincent L. Soriano. Taon-taon po ay napakadami ng mga taga-Paki, Laguna na dumadalo sa Intramuros para sa Grand Marian Possession. Salamat sa Banda 1 at Banda 2 mula sa Paki, Laguna. Buong bayan ng Paki ay narito sa Intramuros ngayon para samahan ang Nuestra Senora de los Dolores de Turumba.
Maraming salamat muli, Nuestra of the Republic of the Philippines, Sara Zimmerman Duterte. In time for the image of Nuestra Señora de los Dolores de Turumba. Salamat po sa mga tagapaki Laguna. Napakarami po ng mga tagapakil. Kaya natatagalan ang uh, prosesyon. Pero masaya po kami at marami kayo dito. The Republic of the Philippines for gracing the 41st Grand Marian Procession in Intramuros. Vice President Sara Ziberman Duterte. Again, we would like to remind We await the arrival of the image from the diocesan shrine and parish of Nuestra Señora de la Merced de Tarlac, Barangay Matalahalib, Tarlac City. Uh, in 1993, it got lost and another image was made. In 2012, a photo of the original image surfaced on social media. Father Giorgio Cerudo found the image in an antique shop in Metro Manila. He bought the image and it was returned home to Tarlac in time for her 60th feast day in 2015. We would like to thank the parish priest, Reverend We would also like to thank the Tarlac Provincial Government and the Cofradia de Nuestra Señora de la Merced. Tarlac City, Tarlac.
Nuestra Señora de la Merced de la Ciudad de Tarlac, coronada. Jose Rudo found the image in an antique shop in Metro Manila. He bought it and the image returned home to Tarlac in time for her 60th Peace Day in 2015. Thank you to the parish priest, Reverend Father Jesus Argragasin, the Tarlac Provincial Government, and the Cofradía de Nuestra Señora de la Merced. Mary, help of Christians. From the National Shrine of Mary Help of Christians Parish, Better Living Paranaque City. We would like to thank the parish priest, Father Crisostomo Eugenio D. Magitang. The image was canonically crowned, is going to be canonically crowned in 2022. The original statue was brought to Manila from Italy in 1922 by Archbishop William Piani, a Salesian Apostolic Delegate to the Philippines. First enthroned at the Manila Cathedral, the image was brought to Our Lady of Loreto Church in Sampaloc for safekeeping during World War II. The title Mary Help of Christians was first used by St. John Chrysostom in the year 345 along with St. John Bosco who propagated the same devotion. We would like to thank the Armed Forces of the Philippines. The Grand Marian procession is organized by the Intramuros Administration and the Cofradía de la Immaculada Concepción. Church Poblacion Bolho on Cebu Province. Welcome to Intramuros for the 41st Grand Marian procession. We would like to thank Monsignor Arturo Navales. From Poblacion Bolhoon Cebu. The image Peace Day is on the second Saturday of November. And it was canonically crowned on April 23, 2022. We would like to acknowledge the former mayor of Bolhoon Cebu. The image arrived in 1599 in the coastal town of Nabulho, Señora Patrocinio de Maria from Bolhoon, Cebu. Nuestra Señora de la Merced de Novaliches. This image of Our Lady is from the Diocesan Shrine and Parish of Our Lady of Mercy, Diocese of Novaliches in Quezon City. The feast day of the image is celebrated every September 24. It was canonically crowned in 2021. And we would like to thank and acknowledge Congressman Annie Rosa Susano, 
Councilors Joe and Sion, Visaya and Family, Pascual Liner, Lala Taupa, Teacher Emma Estacio and Family, and Father Jose Uceo Buen Viaje Foundation. This image is from the parish of um, Reverend Father Jose Peregrino Tomas. Again, Nuestra Señora de la Merced de Novaliches. And the Commander General of the Philippine Air Force, Lieutenant General Conor Anthony D. Canlas, Sr. And our Grand Marshal, Brigadier General Edwin E. Amadar. And Command Commander Fleet Marine Ready Force of the Philippine Navy. The Intramuros Grand Marian Procession is an opportunity for us to see some of the finest examples of the Blessed Virgin in art. We see an array of forms and media, from prints to paintings to bas relief to sculptures in the round. We need to understand that these are representations and interpretations of one and the same persona, the Blessed Virgin Mary. As early as the late 16th century, the stand of the Philippine Catholic Church was to accept the doctrine of the Immaculate Conception as an article of faith, even while it was still permissible to question Anne's sinless conception of Mary. In fact, this was a primary factor in the endorsement of Pope Gregory XIII to build the Manila Cathedral consecrated to the conception of the Blessed Virgin Mary in 1578. After Pope Paul V declared that the doctrine was no longer open to question or public rebuttal, the first national celebration of the devotion to the Immaculate Conception was held in the country in 1619. On December 8, the first of the 15-day event, festivities were held at the Manila Cathedral. We would like to acknowledge the members the officers of the Cofradia de la Inmaculada Concepcion for 2019 to 2022, for the ordinary chairperson, His Eminence Luis Antonio G. Cardinal Tagle, the chairperson Danilo El Dolor, Vice Chairperson Aurora Ismendi, the President Gordas T. Castaneda. Mater Dolorosa de Tarlac. The seven sorrows of Mary are depicted by the seven daggers piercing her heart. The causes of her sorrow are Simon's prophecy, the Holy Family's flight into Egypt, the loss of Jesus in Jerusalem, Christ's journey to Calvary, the crucifixion, the deposition from the cross, and the burial of Christ. The image of Mater Dolorosa, September 15, last June 5, 2021, this image was canonically crowned. The Grand Marian Procession is not only a celebration of Marian art and devotion, it is also a celebration of Filipino culture. 
Through the commendable efforts of our participants, who prepared for this and tirelessly worked till late night or under the scorching sun, we get a glimpse of how communities celebrate their fiestas. We are treated to an array of costumes, music, dances, rituals and chants, and in some instances, even cuisine. In 1760, Pope Clement XIII authorized the celebration of the Immaculate Conception in the Philippines. at Lourdes, France in 1858. The original image survived the Second World War, but the church did not. It is now enshrined at Our Lady of Lourdes Church in Canlaon, Quezon City. Our local altar includes a statue of Saint Bernadette on her knees. The image of Our Lady is from the National Shrine of Our Lady of Lourdes from the Diocese of Cubao, Quezon City, with parish priest, Reverend Father Jefferson Augustine, OFM. The Grand Marian procession gathers together images of the Blessed Virgin Mary in the care of shrines, parishes, and private individuals from all over the Philippines. The event is held in Intramuros every first Sunday of December though the actual Marian feast day is December 8th. Sunday was chosen to give the general public. World War II disrupted the annual event, and the celebration was revived only in 1954, when President Ramon Magsaysay led the first Marian procession in Manila. This procession, which assembled some 60 venerated images of the Blessed Early in the 13th century, Latis of Cubao, with Reverend Father Willowin no Noel and Daya, OCD, as parish, the image of Our Lady. Wood is then polychrome in a process called Encarnacion, giving it a lifelike appearance. This process may also apply to other media of sculpture. Religious images are crafted to inspire prayer and devotion and reflect the splendor of heaven. As Pope Pius IX, the IX proclaimed in 1844, the most blessed Virgin Mary was, from the first moment of her conception, by a singular grace and privilege of Almighty God, and by virtue of the merits of Jesus Christ, Savior of the human race, preserved immune from all stain of original sin. In 1760, Pope Clement XIII authorized the celebration of the Immaculate Conception in the Philippines as a feast having proclaimed Our Lady of the Immaculate Conception, the principal patroness of Spain and the Indies. From then on, this celebration became an annual tradition. Pope Pius IX defined the dogma of the Immaculate Conception and instituted the December 8th feast in 1854. Subsequently, nationwide festivities lasted for a year.
Carothas used to assemble inside San Agustin Church until space constraints and the rising number of images called for an alternative venue. It was for Titus, but Fort Santiago was turned over to IA from the National Parks Development Committee in 1992. The assembly area was moved to Plaza Moriones in Fort Santiago, and the start of the procession was transferred to the Manila Cathedral Basilica, where the event was actually first held in 1619. To make the decoration of the Carotas more visible to more people, A. Soriano Avenue, or Aduana, is currently used as assembly area. The procession winds through the Intramuro streets. It used to pass through P. Burgos Drive and end at the Corino Grandstand at Rizal Park. The growing number of participants, however, made it wiser to limit the route within the Intramuros walls. La Purísima Concepción. This image of Our Lady is under the care of the minor basilica parish of La Purísima Concepción, Santa Maria. We acknowledge the Paris family from Santa Maria, Bulacan. The minor basilica and parish of La Purísima Concepción is under Reverend Monsignor Alberto Suatenco, parish priest, and with the image, we acknowledge Santa Maria Fiesta Committee 2023 and Lourdes Perez and family. This image is said to have protected the town of Santa Maria Bulacan from bandits during the Spanish colonial period. The image disappeared for 30 years during which the church was damaged by an earthquake and the town was burned in the Philippine-American War. Legend has it that the Virgin was found in Gapan, Nueva Ecija, and her return to Santa Maria kept the town safe during the second. It used to pass through P. Burgos and end at the Carino Grandstand at Rizal Park. The growing number of participants, however, made it wiser to limit the route within the Intramuros walls. For a time, the procession ended at Fort Santiago where a mass was held. But the saying, Kay haba haba man ng posisyon sa simbahan di ng tuloy prevailed. The procession now ends in front of Manila Cathedral Basilica, although the mass is held two hours before the procession. As these become objects of devotion, their significance deepens as they evolve into signifiers of faith love, as well as history and culture. Thus, these images represent both Mary and the people who deeply love her. Chairperson, Ms. Lourdes T. Castaneda, President. Ms. Maria Victoria T. Burgos as Treasurer, Ms. Fe S. Rodriguez, Assistant Treasurer, Ms. Serena O. Camus, Auditor, and Mr. Armando M. Ariondai, Board Secretary. We also acknowledge the Board of Directors of the Cofradia for 2019 to 2022. Maria Rosario A. Gardoni, Ms. Alice R. Briones, Maria Victoria T. Burgos, Lourdes T. Castaneda, Danilo L. Dolor, Aurora E. Ismendi, Dr. Jaime C. Laya, Nene S. Leonor, Rosita S. Lesaca, Helen M. Ong, 
Vicky T. Burgos, Clifford Chua, Armando M. Marionday, and Danilo L. Delor. The Grand Marian Procession is not only a celebration of Marian art and devotion. It is also a celebration of Filipino culture. Through the commendable efforts of our participants who prepared for days and tirelessly worked till night night or under the scorching sun, we get a glimpse of how communities celebrate their fiestas. We are treated to an array of costumes, music, dances, rituals, and chants, and in some instances, even cuisine. They are expressions of a people's identity and form part of our heritage. It is important to understand that these spectacles are not merely for a show. They are unique expressions of love and devotion to Mary and are all done for the greater glory of God. The Grand Marian procession gathers together images of the Blessed Virgin in the care of shrines, parishes, and private individuals from all over the Philippines. The event is held in Intramuros every first Sunday of December, though the actual Marian feast day is December 8th. Sunday was chosen to give the general public a better opportunity to witness the event. Nuestra Señora de la Rosa de Makati. Also known as the Virgen de la Rosa de Makati, the devotion to Our Lady started when in 1718, Father Juan Jose Delgado S.J. brought the image from Acapulco, Mexico to the ports of Manila and enthroned it in San Pedro, Makati Church. Unique to the devotion to the Virgen de la Rosa is the Baile de los Arcos or Panatang Sayaw. Nine maidens recite prayers and sing and dance in honor of Makati's Patrona. With the image, the image was canonically crowned in 2019 and the feast celebrated on June 30. It is from the Saints Peter and Paul Parish from the Archdiocese of Manila in Makati City. The was solemnly enacted on March 16, 2019. By then, Papal Nuncio Gabriel Giordano Casha, His Eminence Luis Antonio Cardinal Tagle, and His Eminence Gaudencio Cardinal Rosales, then Archbishop of Manila. The Virgen de la Rosa de Makati, the crown jewel of Makati, is the only canonically crowned Marian image in the city of Makati, venerated at the Saints Peter and Paul Parish, Poblacion, Makati. Virgen de la Rosa de Makati, Coronada, pray for us. We would like to acknowledge Reverend Father Henaro Odiwa, Parish Priest, the Parish Pastoral Council of Saints Peter and Paul Parish, 
the Confradia de la Virgen de la Rosa de Makati, Barangay Poblacion Blue Cavaliers Band, Public Safety Department Band, Honorable Marlene Abigail Binay, Campos, City Mayor, Honorable Monique Yasmin Lagdameo, City Vice Mayor, Honorable Romulo Kid Peña Jr., Congressman of the 1st District, Honorable Luis Campos, Congressman, 2nd District. Honorable Jose Villena, the 4th. Honorable Alcina Yabut. Honorable Benwur L. Cruz and Barangay Poblacion Council and Barangay Staff and Committees. And Honorable Julian Kyle G. San Mateo. Once again, thank you, parishioners of St. Peter and Paul Parish from the Archdiocese of Manila. We would like to acknowledge the members of the Armed Forces of the Philippines, the Chief of Staff, Lieutenant General Vicente Bartolome Bacaro, Flag Officer in Command of the Philippine Navy, Rear Admiral Toribio D. Adasi Jr., Commanding General of the Philippine Army, Lieutenant General Romeo S. Bronner Jr., Commanding General of the Philippine Air Force, Lieutenant General Conor Anthony D. Canlas Sr., and the Grand Marshal, Brigadier General Edwin E. Amadar, Commander of the Fleet Marine Ready Force of the Philippine Navy. As early as the late 16th, 16th century, the stand of the Philippine Catholic Church was to accept the doctrine of the Immaculate Conception as an article of faith. We acknowledge the El Gobernador Band on December 8th, the first of the 15-day event. Festivities were held at the Manila Cathedral. The procession was only one of countless activities that included bullfights, masquerades, carnivals, parades, band and chorale concerts, and stage shows. Fireworks and the peeling of church bells all over the city set off much of the revelry. In 1760, Pope Clement XIII authorized the celebration of the Immaculate Conception in the Philippines as a feast. Having proclaimed Our Lady of the Immaculate Conception, the principal patroness of Spain and the Indies. From then on, this celebration became an annual tradition. Pope Pius IX defined the dogma of the Immaculate Conception and instituted the December 8 feast in 1854. Subsequently, nationwide festivities lasted for a year. World War II disrupted the annual event and the celebration was revived only in 1954, when President Ramon Magsaysay led the first Marian procession in Manila. This procession, which assembled some 60 venerated images of the Blessed Virgin from all over the country, established the standards for today's feast day celebrations.
The Intramuros Administration, or IA, became involved with the Marian celebrations as part of its official functions to sponsor, conduct, or otherwise assist and support festivals and cultural activities in Intramuros. Starting in 1980, IA, then under the Ministry of Human Settlements and headed by Action Officer Dr. Jaime Silaya, mounted the Grand Marian Procession annually with the Cofradia de la Inmaculada Concepcion Incorporated, originally known as the Cofradia de Damas y Caballeros de la Inmaculada Concepcion, led by founding chair Imelda O. Coanco. Once again, we acknowledge the officers of the Cofradia de la Inmaculada Concepcion Incorporated, His Eminence Luis Antonio G. Cardinal Tagle as Honorary Chairperson, Mr. Danilo L. Denor, Chairperson, Ms. Aurora E. Ismendi, Vice Chairperson, Ms. Lourdes T. Casaneda, President, Ms. Maria Victoria T. Burgos, Treasurer, Ms. Fe S. Rodriguez, Assistant Treasurer, and Ms. Zarina O. Camus, Auditor, and Ms. Armando M. Ariondai as Board Secretary. We would like to thank the AFP contingent for Grand Marian Possession for 2022. consisting of units from the Philippine Army, Philippine Navy, the Philippine Air Force, the NTG-NCR, the JITG, the CEI-SSAFP, the JCMOTG, the HHSG-JTF-NCR, the JTF-NCR Command Group, and the JTG cell. And the GHQ and HSC. Also from AFPLSC, the OG7, HHSG, and PA. We also have members for DR, from the DRRM slash medical team, from the MDRRMO incident management team, the Philippine Army, Philippine Navy, the Philippine Air Force, and the CGEASH. Nuestra Señora de la Soledad de Porta Vaga.
The image of Our Lady is from the Diocesan Shrine of Nuestra Senora de la Soledad de Portavaga, San Roque Parish in Cavite City. The parish priest is Reverend Father Michael Cron, and the image was crowned in 2018. The image is accompanied by members of the diocese and also by Lolo Ueng, ang mapagmahal, ang mapaghimalang Santo Sepulcro ng Landayan San Pedro, Laguna. The canonically crowned image of Nuestra Senora de la Soledad de Portavaga is also considered a national cultural treasure of the Philippines. Thank you to the devotees of Our Lady of the Nuestra Senora de la Soledad de Portavaga and the diocesan uh, members of of the same image in Cavite. Thank you, San Roque Parish, Diocesan Shrine of Nuestra Senora de la Soledad de Porta Vaga, San Roque, Cavite City. We would like to thank the Intramuros Administration with Officer in Charge Edgardo Baisic. Ms. Sandra Martinez as the Chief of Tourism Promotions Division and Chairperson of the Grand Marian Possession Working Committee, and Mr. Jeffrey Yap, the Officer in Charge of the Urban Planning and Community Development Division, Vice Chairperson of the Grand Marian Possession Working Committee. Nuestra Señora del Pilar de Morón. Morón. In 1578, the town of Morón became part of the Corregimiento de Irma Arribeles, together with Bagac and Maragondon, Cavite. But it was only in 1607 that Morón was officially founded as a town and parish by Father Rodrigo del San Miguel. He placed them under the protection of Our Lady of the Pillar. The image received an Episcopal crown as decreed by His Eminence, Roberto C. Santos, Bishop of the Diocese of Balanga, on October 12, 2017, and was canonically crowned on October 10, 2018, under the present pontificate of Pope Francis. We would like to thank the Our Lady of Del Pilar Parish, Morong, 
Bataan, in the Diocese of Balanga City, as well as the Banda Uno for Banda Uno Kabataan 2001, as well as the Parish Pastoral Council of Pilar Parish. Again, we would like to thank Our Lady of, uh, of Pillar Parish of Morong Bataan and the Diocese of Balanga City. Uh, we have His Eminence Luis Antonio G. Cardinal Tagle as Honorary Chairperson, Danilo El Dolor as Chairperson, Aurora E. Esmendi as Vice Chairperson, Lourdesti Castaneda as President, Maria Victoria T. Burgos as Treasurer, Fe S. Rodriguez as Assistant Treasurer, Sarina O. Camus as Auditor, and Armando M. Arionday as Board Secretary. La Virgen Milagrosa de Badoc, Nuestra Señora, Causa de la Nuestra Alegría. Viva la Virgen! The original image was found with the image of Santo Cristo in Milagroso in the cove of the village of Lago, Dadalakitin, at the border of Sinait Elacosur and Badoc Elacos Norte. A legend tells that the image of the Virgin was destined to be enshrined in Badok while the Santo Cristo was headed for Sinait. Patroness of Ilocos Norte, the Virgin is believed to have been brought to Badok as a reward for the Ilocanos' fervent devotion to Mary. Her canonical coronation was on December 8, 1980. This image is from the St. Joseph a St. John the Baptist Catholic Parish of Badok, Ilocos Norte, and we would like to thank Very Reverend Father Joel Reynold Castillo, as well as the Minor Basilica and Parish of St. John the Baptist, Shrine of the La Virgen Milagrosa de Badok. We'd also like to thank the delegates and devotees Nuestra Señora del Pilar de Manila in of the Pilar in the Philippines are in Zamboanga and in Pilar, Bataan. In 1960, Pope John XXIII proclaimed Nuestra Señora del Pilar as the patroness of the Archdiocese of Zamboanga. We would like to thank Reverend Father Rudsen P. Paragas as well as the Archdiocese Shrine of the Blessed Sacrament, Santa Cruz Parish, Manila. We'd also like to thank the Parish Pastor Council, the Confradilla de la Nuestra Señora del Pilar de Manila, and all devotees of the Blessed Virgin Mary. JITG, CEI, SSAFP, JCMOTG, HSSG, JTF, NCR, JTF, NCR Command Group, as well as the JTC, JTG cell. The contingent is divided into the security elements, parading elements, and medical team. So thank you for raising the Grand Marian Possession 2022. We'd also like to thank Major Philippine Air Force, Second Lieutenant Robert 
G. Keta, Philippine Navy, Major Edison M. Lutilia, Major Christian Peter G. Sir Sagat P. Philippine Army, Lieutenant Colonel Roland M. Goricho, Major Ernan C. Capulong, Philippine Army, Technical Sergeant Neil C. Rubia, Philippine Air Force, The contingent from the Sede, Technical Surgeon Cariaga. Okay. And Hernandez. For the NTG NCR, the contingent is led by Major Desinha Desingano. Lieutenant Commander Corpus. JITG is led by First Lieutenant De Luna. For the CEISSAFP, the contingent is led by CPO Heredero. For the JCMOTG, the contingent is led by Major Tormis, Philippine Army. We would like to thank the devotees and pilgrims of Mesta Senora de Aransasu. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for visiting us from San Mateo Rizal. Nuestra Señora de Aranzazú, Viva la Virgen. De Nuestra Señora de Aranzazú. The Nuestra Señora de Aranzazu is from the Diocese and Shrine and Parish of Nuestra Señora de Aranzazu from San Mateo Rizal. In the Philippines, the Shrine of Our Lady of Aranzazu is found in San Mateo Rizal. The conference the confraternity was established at the Colegio de San Juan de Letran in Intramuros in 1834. <laughs> as well as the Diocese Shrine and Parish of Nuestra Señora de Aranzazu and the Diocese of Antipolo. Thank you as well to the Blessed Unity Band. The feast day of Our Lady of Aransasu is on September 9, and the image was canonically crowned 
in 2017 under the present pontificate of Pope Francis. Viva la Virgen! Also part of the Aransasu delegation are the following. Reverend Father Rodrigo Eguia, who is the parish priest and shrine rector, who is joined by the Honorable Mayor Bartolome Rivera, accompanied by Vice Mayor Jimmy Rojas, together with the Sanguniang Bayan and the 15 Barangay Captains. The Hermana Mayor, 2023, of uh, the delegation from Aransasu is Mrs. Arthlin Fetalvero and Hermana Menor is Miss Ana Santos. The Grand Marian procession gathers together images of the Blessed Virgin Mary in the care of shrines, parishes, and private individuals. Sidro Libmanan Camarine Sur. The image shows the Virgin standing on a pillar with a child Jesus in her arm, arms. Devotion began when the image of the Virgin atop a jasper pillar appeared to St. James the Apostle. The parish in San Isidro, Libman, and Camarines Sur was established in 1985. Since then, miracles have been attributed to the image which was canonically crowned in 2015. We would like to thank the parish priest of Libmanan, Reverend Father Romulo Castaneda, and we'd also like to thank the caretaker of the image, Mr. <coughs> Jonel San, the principal patroness of Spain and the Indies. From then on, this celebration became an annual tradition. Pope Pius IX defined the dogma of the Immaculate Conception and instituted the December 8th feast in 1854. Subsequently, nation, national festivities lasted for a year. After Pope Paul VI declared that the doctrine was no longer open to question or public rebuttal, the first national celebration of the devotion to the Immaculate Conception was held in the country in 1619. On this, again, we'd like to thank the Armed Forces of the Philippines, led by Chief of Staff AFP, Letter Lieutenant General Vicente Bartolome Bacaro, the Flag Officer in Command of the Philippine Navy, Rear Admiral Turibio D. Ada Adachi Jr., Commanding General, Philippine Army, Lieutenant General Romeo S. Bronner Jr., and the Commanding General of the Philippine Air Force, Lieutenant General, Lieutenant General Colonel Anthony D. Canlas, Sr. Physical Arrangement, Architect Eunice Lim, Technical Requirements, Leonardo Hugo and Mark J. Rita, the Secretariat headed by Estrelita Go and John Rancho Arcilia. And for area improvement, Lucinia Bernardo.
Nuestra Señora de Guadalupe de Cebu, ¡Viva la Virgen! Nuestra Señora de Guadalupe de Cebu is from the Archdiocesan Shrine of the Nuestra Señora de Guadalupe de Cebu in Cebu City. In 1880, a chicken trapper followed the light coming from a cave beside a river in Guadalupe, Cebu. He found a statue of the Virgin Mary and the image was brought to the makeshift chapel which eventually became a church. This is one of the four distinct images bearing the title Guadalupe, the others being from Mexico, Spain and the Canary Islands. Our Lady is the patroness of Cebu. We would like to thank the caretaker of the image, Mr. Ellis Manuel Mendez, from the Mendez family of Cebu City, as well as the, Rev, as the, as well as the parish priest, Reverend Father Aloysius Alosipan, of the Archdiocesan Shrine of Nuestra Señora de Guadalupe de Cebu, The Primera Fiesta is on December 12, while the De Thanksgiving Fiesta is on July 16. The image was To continue the acknowledgement of the Working Committee of the Intramuros Administration for the 41st Grand Marian Procession, for the Assembly Venue Management, we have Engineer Victor Reyes and Clark Topacio. For Area Improvement, Lucinia Bernardo. For Images and Paraphernalia, Mr. Dino Carlos Santos. For Technical Requirements, Leonardo Hugo and Mark J. Rita. For Security and Traffic Management, Jeffrey Yap. For Physical Arrangement, Architect Eunice Lim for deployment, Engineer Anasu Bion Taganas and Arnel Guillermo for procession marshalling, Vicente Santos Jr. and Bernard Jose. Also, the secretary. From the first moment of her conception, by a singular grace and privilege of Almighty God and by the virtue of the merits of Jesus Christ, Savior of the human race, preserved immune from all stains of original sin. The Grand Marian procession gathers together images of the Blessed Virgin Mary in the care of shrines, parishes, and private individuals from all over the Philippines. The event is held in Intramuros every first Sunday of December through the, uh, through the actual Marian feast, though the actual Marian Feast Day is in December 8th. Sunday was chosen to give the general public a better opportunity to witness the event. Again, we would like to thank the 600 strong contingent from the armed forces of the Philippines. The, the contingent from the Philippine Army is led by the second Lieutenant, Lieutenant Bautista, Sergeant Madoc, Technical Sergeant Pasqua, and Sergeant Cacho. The Philippine Navy is headed by Captain Castillo, Technical Sergeant Congreso, and the Philippine Air Force is led by second Lieutenant Eleazar, as well as Staff Sergeant Trisede and Technical Sergeant Cariaga as well as A1C, Lieutenant General Vicente Bartolome Bacaro. Lady of the Abandoned, Virgen ng Marikina, Viva la Virgen! The Virgen de Marikina is from 
the Diocesan Shrine and Parish of Our Lady of the Abundant of Marikina. The image was canonically crowned on 2005 under the pontificate of His Holiness Pope Benedict XVI. We would like to thank Bishop Noli Buco as well as Reverend Father Lamberto Ramos. The caretaker of the image is Sister Erminia Digmaco de Guzman Cruz. The Virgin started in the 15th century in Valencia, Spain, when a priest drew attention to the insane, whom he called the abandoned children of God. An organization was formed and named after the lady, after which funds were raised for the hospital for the insane. A replica of the image was brought to the Philippines by the Franciscans, who established a mission at the Church of Santa Ana. The image of Our Lady is from the Cathedral Parish of St. Andrew in the Diocesan Shrine of Nuestra Señora del Buen Suceso, Diocese of Paranaque, with Reverend Father Augusto C. Polido as parish priest. We acknowledge the cofradía of Nuestra Señora del Buen Suceso, the devotees of Nuestra Señora del Buen Suceso, the parishioners of the Cathedral Parish of St. Andrew, the Paranaque City Band, and Paranaque City Tourism's Office. The image of Our Lady was canonically crowned on September 8, 2000, under the, the Feast of Our Lady of Good Events is celebrated on August 10. As early as the late 16th century, the stand of the Philippine Catholic Church was to accept the doctrine of the Immaculate Conception as an article of faith, even while it was still permissible to question Anne's sin sinless conception of Mary. In celebration became an annual tradition. Pope Pius IX defined the dogma of the Immaculate Conception and instituted the December 8th feast in 1854. Subsequently, nationwide festivities lasted for a year. Thank you, Sir Al's Music and Art Studio, Bokawe Youth Concert Band 16 from Bokawe, Bulacan. The image of Our Lady is from the Basilica Minore de San Sebastian from the Archdiocese of Manila. We acknowledge the Cofradia de la Nuestra Señora del Carmen, the Cofradia de Tancitio de Nuestra Señora, the Order of the Augustinian Recollects, and the Secular Augustinian Recollect Fraternity. The Feast of Our Lady is celebrated on January 29 and July 16. 
and it was canonically crowned in 1991 by popes under the pontificate of Pope St. John Paul II. Passing through Mexico on the way to the Philippines in 1617, the local provincial of the Recollect Fathers visited the convent of the Carmelite Fathers, who gave him a statue of Our Lady of Mount Carmel. Upon arriving in the Philippines, the Recollect Fathers built a church for the image. Devotees honor her by wearing a brown dress along with her scapular. Once again, thank you, parishioners and devotees of Nuestra Senora Nuestra del Carmen de San Sebastian from the Basilica Minore de San Sebastian in Manila. Sixty venerated images of the Blessed Virgin from all over the country establish the standards for today's feast day celebrations. The Intramuros Administration, or IA, became involved with the Marian celebrations as part of its official functions to sponsor, conduct, or otherwise assist and support festivals and cultural activities in Intramuros. Starting in 1980, IA, then under the Ministry of Human Settlements and headed by Action Officer Dr. Jaime C. Laya, mounted the Grand, Grand Marian Procession annually with the Cofredia de la Inmaculada Concepcion, Incorporated, originally known as the Cofredia de Damas y Caballeros de la Inmaculada Concepcion, led by founding chair Imelda O. Cowanco. The Intramuros Grand Marian Procession is an opportunity for us to see some of the finest examples of the Blessed Virgin in art. We see an array of forms and media, from prints to paintings to bas relief to sculptures in the round. We need to understand that these are representations and interpretations of one and the same persona, the Blessed Virgin Mary. As these become objects of devotion, their significance deepens as these evolve into signifiers of faith and love, as well as history and culture. Thus, these images represent both Mary and the people who deeply love her. Materials employed to produce these Marian images vary. Paint on paper or canvas, polychromed wood or stone, as well as ivory. Ivory is revered as the most precious medium, valued for its rarity and its ability to be carved finely up to the smallest of details. We welcome the devotees and parishioners of the National Shrine of Our Lady of the Abandoned in Santa Ana, Manila. The Grand Marian Procession gathers together images of the Blessed Virgin Mary in the care of shrines, parishes and private individuals from all over the Philippines. The event is held in Intramuros every first Sunday of December, where the actual Marian Peace Day is December 8th. Sunday was chosen to give the general public a better opportunity to witness the event. Once again, we acknowledge the Intramuros administration for co-organizing this event with officer in charge Ed Baisik and the board of administrators led by DOT secretary Christina Frasco.
Nuestra Señora de los Desamparados de Manila. The image of Our Lady is from the National Shrine of Our Lady of the Abandoned in Santa Ana, Manila, with parish priest and rector, Father Virgilio del Mundo, Jr. Accompanying the image is the Camareros de la Virgen, Cofradía del Nuestra Señora de los Desamparados de Manila, and its parishioners. The feast day of Nuestra Señora de los Desamparados is celebrated on May 12. It was canonically crowned in 1991 under the pontificate of Pope St. John Paul II. A replica of the original enshrined in the cathedral in Valencia, Spain, this image was brought to the Philippines by Fray Vicente Ingles in 1717 on the Gal Galeon Santo Cristo de Burgos. In 1720, Manila Archbishop Francisco de la Cuesta gave his gold and crystal baston de mando to the Virgin, and the cane has been held by the image since then. We would like to thank and acknowledge the City of Manila Mayor Hani Lacuna and the Barangay Chairmans, Chairman of 654, 655, 656, 657, and 658 in Intramuros, Manila. The procession winds through the Intramuros streets. It used to pass through P. Burgos Drive and end at the Carino Grandstand at Rizal Park. The growing number of participants, however, made it wiser to limit the route within the Intramuros walls. For a time, the procession ended at Fort Santiago, where a mass was held. But the saying, kay haba haba man ng posisyon sa simbahan din ng tuloy, prevailed. The procession now ends in front of Manila Cathedral Basilica, although the Mass is held two hours before the procession. The Grand Marian Procession is not only a celebration of Marian art and devotion, it is also a celebration of Filipino culture. Through the commendable efforts of our participants, who prepared for days and tirelessly worked till late night or under the scorching sun, we get a glimpse of how communities celebrate their fiestas. We are treated to an array of costumes, music, dances, rituals and chants, and in some instances, even cuisine. They are expressions of a people's identity and form part of our heritage. It is important to understand that these spectacles are not merely for show. They are unique expressions of love and devotion to Mary and are all done for the greater glory of God. Once again, we would like to acknowledge the officers of the Cofradia de, de la Inmaculada Concepcion for 2019 to 2022. His Eminence Luis Antonio G. Cardinal Tagle as Honorary Chairperson, Mr. Danilo L. Dolor as Chairperson, 
Ms. Aurora E. Ismendi as Vice Chairperson, Ms. Lourdes T. Castaneda as President, Ms. Maria Victoria T. Burgos as Treasurer, Ms. Fe S. Rodriguez as Assistant Treasurer, Ms. Irina O. Camus as Auditor, and Ms. Armando, Mr. Armando M. Ariondai as Board Secretary. The Grand Marian Procession gathers together images of the Blessed Virgin Mary in the care of parishes, shrines, and private individuals from all over the Philippines. The event is held in Intramuros every first Sunday of December, though the actual Marian Feast Day is December 8th. Sunday was chosen to give the general public a better opportunity to witness the event. Isang munting bisita ang dati nang nakatayo sa Hacienda Tambobong, Malabon, noong mga huling bahagi ng mga taong 1600. Ito ang naging bahay dalanginan ng mga taga Concepcion at tahanan ng magandang larawan ng La Purisima Concepcion, ang mahal na patrona ng nayong ito sa pagitan ng Ilog Malabon at Ilog Navotas. La Inmaculada Concepcion de Malabon We acknowledge the parish priest of the Diocesan Shrine and Parish of the Immaculate Conception, Reverend Father Joey C. Enriquez, together with Reverend Father Paul Nicolas, Nicolas Wu, and Brother Anthony Koa. The image was canonically crowned on December 7, 1986 under the pontificate of Pope St. John Paul II II. Noong December 8, 1854, tinawag na Inmaculada Concepcion ayon sa pagpakilala ng mahal na ina nang siya ay magpakita kay Santa Bernardita Salurdes. Ako ang Inmaculada Concepcion. Noong September 8, 1907, ang Visita Concepcion ay ginawa ng isang parokya na ang titular at patrona ay ang Inmaculada Concepcion. We acknowledge the Malabon Community Band accompanying the image of Our Lady of the Immaculate Concepcion of Malabon. As Pope Pius IX proclaimed in 1844, the Most Blessed Virgin Mary was, from the first moment of her conception, by a singular grace and privilege of Almighty God, and by virtue of the merits of Jesus Christ, Savior of the human race, preserved immune from all stain of original sin. Nuestra Señora de Salvación de Joroan. Accompanying the image of Our Lady is a diocesan shrine of Nuestra Señora de Salvación Parish Pastoral Council and devotees from Joroan, Tiwi Albay and devotees from Metro Manila.
V of Knowledge, Father Joseph Salando, Parish Priest of the Diocesan Shrine of Nuestra Senora del Salvacion from the Diocese of Legaspi in Roan, Tiwi Albay, Legaspi. The Feast of Our Lady is celebrated on the third Saturday of August. Her image was canonically crowned on August 25, 1976 under the pontificate of Pope St. Paul VI. Once again, we thank the Diocesan Shrine of Nuestra Senora de Salvacion Parish Pastoral Council, the devotees from Horoan, TV Albay, and devotees from Metro Manila accompanying the image of Our Lady of Salvation. Devotion to this Virgin is most popular in Albay province in Bicol. It began over 200 years ago in Bui Camarinesur with a statue curve carved from a kalpi tree in the forests of Roan Tiwi Albay. The image symbolizes the union of the mother and the son in the work of our salvation. We would like to thank and acknowledge Archbishop Jose Cardinal Advincula, Director of Manila Cathedral, Monsignor Rolando de la Cruz, the Administrator, Attached Priest, Reverend Father Mario Noel Q. Bayares, Bayanes, and the Attached Priest, Father Kali Peter Lamado. Once again, we acknowledge Archbishop Jose Cardinal Advincula, Director of Manila Cathedral, Monsignor Rolando de la Cruz, the Administrator, Attached Priest, Reverend Father Mario Noel Q. Bayaras and Reverend Father Kali Peter Llamado. We have before us, accompanying the next image of Our Lady, the OLP dancers. It is said that the original image of Our Lady of Peña Francia de Manila was found by a Frenchman in the mountain of Sierra de Francia between Cáceres and Salamanca in Spain. He was heir to a fortune but decided to enter a convent and devote his life to the veneration of the Virgin Mary. Believed to have been brought to Spain, this painting on canvas miraculously found its way back to Philippine shores. Once again, we recognize the OLP dancers. The next image of Our Lady is accompanied by the Sireneo ni Inang Peña, 
the Parish Pastoral Council of the Archdiocese and Shrine of Our Lady of Peña Francia de Manila, the Propagation and Devotion Ministry, and the Shrine Ministry, and of course, the OLP Dancers. Carothas used to assemble inside San Agustin Church until space constraints and the rising number of images called for an alternative venue. It was for Titos that Fort Santiago was turned over to IA from the National Parks Development Committee in 1992. The assembly area was moved to Plaza Moriones in Fort Santiago and the start of the procession was transferred to the Manila Cathedral Basilica where the event was actually first held in 1690. Nuestra Señora de Peña Francia de Manila! This image of Our Lady is from the Archdiocese and Shrine of Our Lady of Peña Francia in Paco, Manila, with parish priest, Reverend Father Herbert John Camacho. The Feast of Our Lady is celebrated on May 14, and, and her image was canonically crowned in 1985 under the pontificate of Pope St. John Paul II. We acknowledge and thank the presence of Sireneo Ni Inang Peña, the Parish Pastoral Council of the Archdiocese and Shrine of Our Lady of Peña Francia de Manila, the Propagation and Devotion Ministry, and the Shrine Ministry, and of course the OLP dancers. Once again, we would like to acknowledge the Board of Directors of the Cofradía de la Inmaculada Concepción for 2019-2022, Maria Rosario A. Blardoni, Alice R. Briones, Maria Victoria T. Burgos, Lourdes T. Castaneda, Danilo L. Dolor, Aurora E. Ismendi, Dr. Jaime C. Laya, Nene S. Leonor, Rosita S. Leseca, Lesaca, Helen M. Ong, Ophelia M. Recto, and Fe S. Rodriguez. We also acknowledge and thank the 2022 Hermana and Hermano Mayor, Maria Victoria T. Burgos, and Danilo L. Dolor. Thank you, Almeda Community Band. Nuestra Señora de la Purificación y la Candelaria de Jaro. The image of Our Lady is from the 
Haro Metropolitan Cathedral in Haro, Iloilo. And it's under the care of the Cofredia de Nuestra Señora de la Candelaria. We would like to acknowledge the parish priest, Monsignor Jo Marie Delgado. And accompanying the image are Father Rex John Palmas, Father Paul Talavera, OP, and the Cofradia de Nuestra Señora Virgen La Candelaria de Haro, and Ilongo delegates. Welcome to Intramuros, Ilongo delegates. The image of Our Lady is said to grow in size as a crown placed on her head would need adjustment every feast day. The distribution of perdon, candles, dedicated to Our Lady is one unique tradition in Iloilo. These candles are believed to be the Ilongo's weapon against natural calamities and disasters. As early as the late 16th century, the stand of the Philippine Catholic Church was to accept the doctrine of the Immaculate Conception as an article of faith even while it was still permissible to question St. Anne's sinless conception of Mary. In fact, this was a primary factor in the endorsement of Pope Gregory XIII to build the Manila Cathedral consecrated to the conception of the Blessed Virgin Mary in 1578. After Pope Paul V declared that the doctrine was no longer open to question or public rebuttal, the first national celebration of the devotion to the Immaculate Conception was held in the country in 1619. Our next image is from the Three Kings Parish National Shrine of Virgen La Divina Pastora, Gapan City, Nueva Ecija. We would like to acknowledge Banda Sabat. Three Kings Parish Youth Ministry, sa pangunguna ni Ginoong Franklin, Knights of the Altar, sa pangunguna ni Ginoong Mark Jerome Soriano, Reverend Father Jose Maliari from Divina Pastora College, President, Reverend Father Francis de Guzman, Guest Priest, and Reverend Father Aldrin Domingo, Rector and Parish Priest. And also, His Excellency Bishop Sofronio Bangkud from the Diocese of Cabanatuan, Nueva Ecija. Also, I'd like to acknowledge the Knights of Columbus, Mayor Joy Pascual and the City Government of Gapan, the Knights of Divina Pastora, sa pangunguna ni Ginoong Hener Soriano, the Parish Pastoral Council, BPC, and WESSTYF sa pangunguna ni Ginang Aurea. Salamat po sa flower arrangements sa pangunguna ni Ginoong Christian Mangahas, ang Confradia de Santisima Padre Jesu Cristo sa pangunguna ni Ginoong Paulo R. Corpus at Jalen Peregrin.
Maraming salamat po sa mga tagagapan Nueva Ecija sa pagdalo nyo sa 41st Grand Marian Procession. Dr. Aldrin Domingo, Rector and Parish Priest, for accompanying the devotees from Gapan, Nueva Ecija. Again, we would like to acknowledge the Working Committee of the Intramuros Administration for the 41st Grand Marian Procession, Vice Chairperson Jeffrey Yap, the Secretariat, headed by Estrelita Go and John Rancho Arcilia, for physical arrangement, Architect Eunice Lim, technical requirements, Mark J. Rita and Leonardo Hugo, Deployment Engineer Anasu Bion Taganas and Arnel Guillermo. Assembly Venue Management Engineer Vic Reyes and Clark Topacio. Procession Marshalling Vicente Santos Jr. and Bernard Jose. Area Improvement and Cleanliness Ms. Lucinia Bernardo. Images and Paraphernalia Mr. Dino Carlo Santos. La Virgen Divina Pastora. It is believed that the first image of the Divine Shepherdess was brought to Nueva Ecija in the 17th century while missionaries introduced sheep raising to the region. The statue was venerated at the first church built in Gapan, Nueva Ecija. The image disappeared from the church one day and was later found under a Calios tree. This image is enshrined at the Three Kings Parish in Gapan, Nueva Ecija, the national shrine of La Virgen Divina Pastora. She was canonically crowned in 1964 under Pope Paul the sixth. Maraming salamat po sa mga tagagagapan, Nueva Ecija. Malayo pa po ang kanilang pinanggalit. Thank you again to Reverend Father Jose Maliari, President of Divina Pastora College, Reverend Father Francis de Guzman, Guest Priest, Reverend Father Algin Domingo, the rector and parish priest of the National Shrine of the Virgen Divina Pastora, Diocese of Cabanatuan, Nueva Ecija. Maraming salamat po, Knights of Columbus, Mayor Joy Pascual, and the city government of Gapan, Knights of Divina Pastora, sa pangunguna ni Ginoong Genero Soriano, the Parish Pastoral Council, BBC and WSSTYF, sa pangunguna ni Ginang Aurea, the Knights of the Altar, 
sa pangunguna ni Ginoong Mark Jerome Soriano, Banda Zabat, Three Kings Parish Youth Ministry, sa pangunguna ni Ginoong Franklin. Franklin Laroya, sorry. Uh, Three Kings Parish Youth Ministry, sa pangunguna ni Ginoong Franklin Laroya. Salamat po. At ang Parish Pastoral Council sa pangunguna ni Ginang Aurea Kotopeng. Nuestra Senyora de Namakpakan. Viva la Virgen! The image is from the shrine of Our Lady of Namakpakan in St. Catherine of Alexandria Parish, Luna La Union. The image was canonically crowned in 1959 under the pontificate of His Holiness, Pope John XXIII, and her feast is on November 24. We would like to thank the following. Reverend Father Norberto Benito El Collado of the St. Catherine of Alexandria Parish as well as the Diocese of San Fernando of La Union. We'd also like to thank representatives from the local gover government unit as well as the parishioners and members of the confraternity of Our Lady of Namakpakan. This image is also known as Apo Baket, the Ilocano term of respect for an elderly woman. Made in Madrid, Spain, it was believed to have arrived in 1822 as the patroness of the Immaculate Conception Seminary in Vigan, Ilocosur. During a stopover at Namakpakan, La Union, the image stuck to its base and could not be removed. Church officials then decided to intro the image at the main altar and gave it the title Nuestra Señora de Namakpakan. Viva la Virgen! We'd like to thank the devotees and pilgrims from La Union. the Philippine National Red Cross of course thank you for your assistance also to the Board of Administrators of Intramuros led by the Secretary of Tourism the Honorable Christina Frasco We'd also like to thank the Bureau of the Treasury, headed by the National Treasurer, the Honorable Rosalia V. De Leon. Thank you as well to the Manila Cathedral, to the Archbishop Jose F. Cardinal Advincula, as well as to the Rector, Monsignor Rolando R. De La Cruz, and to the administrator and attached priest, Father Mario Noel Bayaras and Father Cali Pietro Lamado. The members of the Board of Directors of the Confradia De La Inmaculada Concepcion Incorporated for 2019 to 2022 are as follows. Maria Rosario Blardoni, Alice Briones, Lourdes Castaneda.
Virgen Milagrosa del Rosario del Pueblo Orani. ¡Viva la Virgen! Official Pilgrim Image. The feast day of the Blessed Virgin is uh, held every second Sunday of October. We'd like to thank the parish priest, Reverend Father Abraham San Pedro Pantig, as well as the Diocese of Balanga, the Minor Basilica and Shrine Parish of Our Lady of the Rosary of Orani. Thank you as well to the Parish Pastoral Council, the Mother Butler Guild, the Confradia del Virgen Milagrosa de Orani, the Hijos del Virgen Milagrosa de Orani, Most Reverend Roberto C. Santos, as well as the devotees of Virgen Milagrosa de Orani. Thank you as well to Socom Orani, J.M. Bautista and Co., as well as Team Procision. This image has been participating in the GMP since 1986. The parish was established in 1714 by the Dominican friars, and the Virgin was canonically crowned on April 18, 1959. The celebration of the crowning of the image is a rare one in the Catholic rituals, as the Holy See concedes the right only in very exceptional cases. In the case of this Virgin, it was the first in the history of the Philippines that such right has been conceded. Again, maraming salamat po kay Reverend Father Abraham San Pedro Pantig as well as uh, Diocese of Balanga, Minor Basilica and Shrine Parish of Our Lady of the Rosary Orani. Virgen Milagrosa del Rosario del Pueblo de Orani, Viva la Virgen! As early as the late 16th century, the stand of the Philippine Catholic Church was to accept the doctrine of faith. After Pope Paul VI declared that the doctrine was no longer open to question or public rebuttal, the first national celebration of the devotion to the Immaculate Conception was held in the country in 1619. On December 8, the first of the 15-day event, festivities were held at the Manila Cathedral. The procession was only one of the countless activities that included bullfights, masquerades, carnivals, parades, band and call concerts, and stage shows. Fireworks and the peeling of, bell ch of church bells all over the, the city set off much of the revelry. Maraming salamat sa mga devotees ng ma Mahal na Birhen ng Biglang Awa from Marinduque. Again, we would like to thank the AFP contingent for the Grand Marine Procession 2022, which is composed of the Philippine Army, the Philippine Navy, the Philippine Air Force, the NTG-NCR, JITG, CEI, SSAFP, JCMOTG, HSSG, JTF, NCR, 
the JTF NCR Command Group, and the JTG Cell. Nuestra Señora de Biglang Awa, Our Lady of Prompt Succor, Viva la Virgen! The image is from the Diocese and Shrine of the Mahal na Birhen ng Biglang Awa in Mataas na Bayan, Boac Marinduque. When this image was venerated in the old church of San Gabriel in Intramuros, the faithful came to invoke her help and protection. Our Lady answered her prayers promptly, thus earning her title. Maraming salamat sa Almeda Community Band at sa mga taga-Buwak Marinduque. Maraming salamat po. This procession, which assembled some 60 venerated images of the Blessed Virgin Mary from all over the country, established the, the standards for today's feast day celebrations. The Intramuros administration became involved with the Marian celebrations as part of its official functions to sponsor, conduct, or otherwise assist and support festivals and cultural activities in Intramuros. Starting in 1980, the Intramuros administration, then under the Ministry of Human Settlements and headed by its action officer, Dr. Jaime Laya, mounted the Grand Marian procession annually with the Confradia de la Inmaculada Concepcion Incorporated, which was originally known as the Confradia de Damas y Caballeros de la Inmaculada Concepcion, led by founding chair Imelda Oco Juanco. The Intramuros Grand Marine Procession is an opportunity for us to see some of the finest examples of the Blessed Virgin in art. We see an array of forms and media from prints to paintings to bas relief to sculptures in the round. We need to understand that these are representations and interpretations of one and the same persona, the Blessed Virgin Mary. As these become objects of devotion, their significance deepens as these evolve into signifiers of faith and love as well as history and culture. Thus, these images represent both Mary and the people who deeply love her. <laughs> Again, we'd like to thank Second Lieutenant Bautista, Sergeant Maddock, 
Technical Surgeon Pascua and Surgeon Cacho of the Philippine Army, Captain Castillo, Technical Surgeon Congreso from the Philippine Navy, Second Lieutenant Elizar, Staff Surgeon Tricede, Technical Surgeon Cariaga, and A1C Hernandez from the Philippine Air Force. Again, I'd like to thank Second Lieutenant Bautista, Sergeant Modok Jr., Technical Surgeon Pasco, and Sergeant Cacho from the Philippine Army. We'd also like to thank the Armed Forces of the Philippines General Headquarters Band, led by Technical Surgeon Gomer M. Doblada, Philippine Army. Maraming salamat po. In the early 1950s, after the Second World War, communism and socialism are spreading widely in the province of Pampanga. In the year 1952, Bishop Cesar Maria Guerrero founded the Cruzada de la Caridad y Buena Voluntad to eradicate communism and socialism around the province. Through the Cruzada, the rich people learn to help and give assistance to the less fortunate cabalens as they give lamak or relief goods. The Cruzada was placed under the patronage of the Virgen de los Remedios because the province was in need to be remedied. In the year 1954, on the 23rd of November, the Cruzada de la Caridad y Buena Voluntad was renamed to Cruzada de Caridad y Penitencia, and the image of Santo Cristo was introduced. And this is to remind us that the Blessed, Marge, Ver, Blessed Mother leads us to her son, Jesus Christ. On September 8, 1956, with the blessing of Holy Father Pope Pius XII, the Virgendilus Remedios was canonically crowned, and this was Archbishop Vagnozzi. The canonically crowned image of Virgen de los Remedios is enshrined in her repository chapel in the Arzobispado de Pambanga, and her image is brought out once for the celebration of her coronation anniversary. The image of the Virgen de los Remedios, Indonin Kapaldanan, Tulanin Kapampangan, is under the custody of the Cofradia ng Indong Virgen de los Remedios from the Archdiocese of San Fernando, headed by Archbishop of Pampanga, Most Reverend Florentino G. Lavarias. Our Lady of Remedies was the central character in the turbulent post-war events in Pampanga. Many Kapampangas were veering towards communism, resulting in social unrest. Then Bishop Cesar Maria Guerrero started the Cruzada Ibuen Voluntad to draw the Kapampangans back to the Catholic faith under the patronage of Our Lady of the Remedies. The San Fernando Chancery is home to the image which is brought out once a year on her coronation anniversary. Maraming salamat sa mga deboto at mga parishioners mula Guangua, Pampanga.
Virgen de los Remedios, ¡Viva la Virgen! The feast day of the title is celebrated every September 8th. The image was canonically crowned on September 8th, 1956, under the pontificate of His Holiness, Pope Pius XII. The image before us is the official pilgrim, pilgrim image. We'd like, we'd like to acknowledge and thank the caretaker of the image, the Cofradia Ning Indong Virgen de los Remedios, as well as Mr. George C. Bobo. Acknowledgements as well to Bandai 88. Bandai 88 of Santa Maria Bulacan. Santo Cristo del Perdón, pakaluluan mo kami, Virgen de los Remedios, ipanalangin mo kami. Our Lady of the Remedies was the central character in the turbulent post-war years in Pampanga. Many Kapampangans were veering towards communism, resulting in social unrest. Then Bishop Cesar Maria Guerrero started the Crusada y Buen Voluntad to bring the Kapampangans back to the Catholic faith under the patronage of Our Lady of Remedies. The San Fernando Chancery is home to the image which is brought out once a year on her coronation anniversary. The image of the Patrona de la Pampanga is accompanied by altar servers from San Guillermo Parish Bacolor, San Agustin Parish Lubao, St. Jude Parish Fernando, as well as by the parishioners from the Archdiocese of Pampanga, by the, by the Banda 88, and the Cofradia Ning Indung Virgen de los Remedios. as well as by the, the faithful devotees of the Virgen de los Remedios and Santo Cristo del Perdón. Acknowledgements to the Banda Maleksi Uno of Bacoor City, Cavite, led by Captain Louis Ayat Ugalde. The next image is from Bantay, Ilocosur.
Okay. Nuestra Señora de Caridad de Bantay, ¡Viva la Virgen! This image is from the San Agustin Parish, Archdiocese and Shrine of Nuestra Señora de Caridad in Bantay, Ilocosur. The image celebrates its uh, feast day every first Sunday of September. And the image was crowned, canonically crowned in 1956 under the pontificate of His Holiness, Pope Pius XII. The anniversary of the canonical coronation is celebrated every year, every 12th of January. We'd like to acknowledge and thank Reverend Father Lowell, Lowell Reverend Father Lowell Makar U. Solier as well as the Archdiocese Shrine of Nuestra Señora de la Calidad, Caridad, Parish of the Conversion of St. Augustine, the Archdiocese of Nueva Segovia. Acknowledgements as well to the parishioners of Bantay Ilocosur, devotees of Nuestra Señora de la Caridad and the Confradía de Nuestra Señora de la Caridad. Nuestra Señora de Guía, ¡Viva la Virgen! This image is from the Archdiocese Shrine of Nuestra Señora de Guía, Ermita, Manila, and is taken care of by Familia Tanchua, who serves as the Camarero. The family is from Intramuros, Manila. The image was canonically crowned in 1955 under the pontificate of His Holiness, Pope Pa. The image celebrates its feast day every 19th of May. Legend has it that one of the of St. Martin of Tours in, Bata, in Taal, Batangas. The image is taken care of by the Familia Orlina who serves as the Camarero. The family is from Balik Balik, Manila. The image was canonically crowned in 1954 under the pontificate of Pius the Twelve, and the feast day celebrated every December eight and nine. The image before us is a replica of the original image from Taal Batangas. We'd like to thank and acknowledge the Philippine National Police Band. We would like to acknowledge the parish priest Father Fredel Agate and Rector and Rector Father Bernice Reed. Thank you, devotees of Our Lady of Piat and the Piat Foundation for coming to Intramuros for the Grand Marian Procession. The Our Lady, the Our Lady of the Visitation of Piat was brought from Macau to Cagayan by the Dominicans. From the Church of Nueva Segovia, it was brought to the church at Pia, Piat, where it was venerated. In 1622, Father Juan de Santa Ana ordered a replica made in Manila to replace the one given to the church in Tugegarao. The faithful of Piat preferred the original image and found a way to take it back to its home. The feast day of this image is celebrated on July 2, and her image and Our Lady's image was canonically crowned in 1954 under the pontificate of Pope Pius XII.
Kita punya Again, we'd like to thank the Manila Cathedral, Archbishop Jose F. Cardinal Advincula, Rector Monsignor Rolando R. de la Cruz, Administrator, Attached Priest Mari Mario Noel Bayaras, and Attached Priest Cali Pieter Lamado. The next image is from Antipolo City, Rizal. Materials to employed to produce these Marian images vary. Paint on paper on carvas, polychrome wood or stone, as well as ivory. Ivory is revered as the most precious medium, valued for its rarity, and its ability to be carved finely up to the smallest of details. For wood, batikuling is the most favored for its right density and its pest-resisting properties. After carving, the wood is then polychromed in a pro process called encarnacion, giving it a lifelike appearance. This process may also apply to other media of sculpture. Religious images are crafted to inspire prayer and devotion and reflect the splendor of heaven. The Grand Marian procession gathers together images of the Blessed Virgin Mary in the care of shrines, parishes, and private individuals from all over the Philippines. The event is held in Intramuros every first Sunday of December, though the actual Marian feast day is December 8th. Sunday is chosen to give the general public a better opportunity to witness the event. The procession winds through the Intramuros streets. It used to pass through Padre Burgos Drive and at the, end at the Corino Grandstand at Rizal Park. The growing number of participants, however, made it wiser to limit the route within Intramuros walls. For a time, the procession ended at Fort Santiago, where a mass was held. But the saying, Kay haba haba man ang procession sa simbahan din ang tuloy, prevailed. The procession now ends in front of the Manila Cathedral Basilica, although the mass is held two hours before the procession. <clears throat> the Grand Marian procession is not only a celebration of Marian art of, and devotion. It is also a celebration of Filipino culture. Through the commendable efforts of our participants who prepared for days and tirelessly worked till late night or under the scorching sun, we get a glimpse of how communities celebrate their fiestas. We are treated to an array of costumes, music, dances, rituals and chants, and in some instances, even cuisine. They are expressions of a people's identity and form, of, and form part of our heritage. It is important to understand that these spectacles are not merely for show. They are uniquely expressions of love and devotion to Mary and are all done for the greater glory of God. The Grand Mayan procession is organized by the Cofradia de la Immaculada de Concepcion, Incorporated, whose officers are as follows. His Eminence, Luis Antonio G. Cardinal Tagle as Honorary Chairperson, Danilo L. Dolor as Chairperson, Aurora E. S. Mendy as Vice Chairperson, Lourdes T. Castaneda as President, Maria Victoria T. Burgos as Treasurer, Fe S. Rodriguez as Assistant Treasurer, Zarina O. Camus as Auditor, and Armando M. Arionday as Board Secretary. The Board of Directors of the Cofradi are as follows. Maria Rosario A. Blardoni, Alice Briones, 
Maria Victoria T. Burgos, Lourdes T. Castaneda, Danilo Dolor, Aurora S. Mendy, Dr. Jaime Laya, Nene Leonor, Rosita Lesaca, Helen Ong, Ophelia e. Recto, Fe Rodriguez. The Hermana Mayor is Maria Victoria T. Burgos and the Hermano Mayor is Danilo L. Dolor. The Committee de Festejos is composed of Reverend Father Vicente B. Lina Jr., Vicky T. Burgos as Vice Chairperson, Clifford Chua, Armando M. Arionday, and Danil Danilo Dolor. Again, the Comité de Festejos is composed of Reverend Father Vicente B. Lina Jr. as Chairperson, Vicky T. Burgos as Vice Chairperson, Clifford Chua, Armando Arionday, and Danilo Dolor. The Membership Committee is composed of Lulu T. Castaneda and Helen Ong. The First Holy Communion Committee is composed of Rosita Lesaca as Chairperson, Nenuka Blardoni, Ophelia Recto, and Clifford Chua. Acknowledgements to the Antipolo City Band of the Antipolo City Government. The next image is from Antipolo City Rizal. And we are honored to be graced by the original 1626 image of Nuestra Señora de la Paz y Bien Viaje. Acknowledgements to the devotees from Antipolo City. to the Shrine Ministry, to the Samahang Tanglao, to Miss Lourdes Senyor, Senyor, Lourdes Senyor, to Rector Father Renante Tolentino, to the Antipolo Cathedral Parish Pastoral Council, to the Marambo family, to the Antipolo Cathedral Social, Community Min Social Communication Ministry and to House of Gold. Nuestra Señora de la Paz y Bien Viaje, ¡Viva la Virgen! Again, we are deeply honored to be graced by the original image from 1626. The 
image is from the International Shrine of Our Lady of Peace and Good Voyage. Acknowledgements to Director Reverend Father Reynante Tolentino. The image was canonically crowned in 1926 under the pontificate of Pius XI and her feast day is celebrated every first Tuesday of May. Nuestra Señora de la Paz y Bien Viaje! Viva la Virgen! Again, we are deeply honored to be graced by the original 17th century image of Ven Viaje. Maraming salamat po. Thank you again to Reverend Father Renante Tolentino, Director of the International Shrine of Our Lady of Peace and Good Voyage. Viva la Virgen! The Grand Marian Procession is not only a celebration of Marian art and devotion, it is also a celebration of Filipino culture. Through the commendable efforts of our participants, who prepared for days and tirelessly worked till late night or under the scorching sun, we get a glimpse of how communities celebrate their fiestas. We are treated to an array of costumes, music, dance, rituals, and chants and in some instances, even cuisine. They are expressions of a people's identity and form part of our heritage. Nuestra Señora de Peña Francia de Naga. The image before us is a replica of the image in Naga Camarina Sur. This image of Our Lady is under the care of the Castello family. And we would like to acknowledge Attorney Ed Castello, who serves as Camarero of the image. Thank you, Penafrancia Devotees Association Manila from Mandaluyong City, Metro Manila. Local artisans carved the original image of the Our Lady of Peña Francia in 1710, based on a picture of the Virgin owned by a Spanish priest assigned in Naga. It is said that a dog was killed and its blood used to color the wood of the statue. When the statue was finished, the dog returned to its master. Once again, thank you Peña Francia Devotees Association Manila. The image of Our Lady was canonically crowned on May 13, 1920 under the pontificate of Pope Benedict XV. We also would like to acknowledge Mr. Crispin Pe. Viva la Virgen!
The next Marian title is from Quezon City. Thank you, San Juan Nepomuceno Band from Malibay, Pasay City. The Grand Marian Possession is not only a celebration of Marian art and devotion, it is also a celebration of Filipino culture. Through the commendable efforts of our participants who prepared for days and tirelessly worked till late night or under the scorching sun, we get a glimpse of how communities celebrate their fiestas. We are treated to an array of costumes, music, dances, rituals, and chants, and in some instances, even cuisine. They are expressions of a people's identity and form part of our heritage. It is important to understand that these spectacles are not merely for show. They are unique expressions of love and devotion to Mary and are all done for the greater glory of God. The Grand Marian procession gathers together images of the Blessed Virgin in the care of shrines, parishes, and private individuals from all over the Philippines. The event is held in Intramuros every first Sunday of December, though the actual Marian feast day is December 8th. Sunday was chosen to give the general public a better opportunity to witness the event. Nuestra Señora del Santísimo Rosario de la Naval de Manila. ¡Viva la Virgen! ¡Viva la Virgen! ¡Viva la Virgen! This image is a replica of the original from Quezon City. From Santo Domingo in Quezon City. The participation of this image is in memory of the late Reverend Father Aloysius Alinho, a long time patron of the Confradia. The image is taken care of by the Familia Ku who served as Camarera. The family is from Quezon City. We'd like to acknowledge the participation of Republica Filipina Reenactment Group. Maraming salamat. The, the Republica Filipina is represented by Alexander Avila and Joshua Matipo. The image represents the period costumes from the 17th century. The story of the Virgin revolves around the sea vessels Encarnacion and Rosario in 1646. The sailors believed so much in their spiritual powers that they would kneel and recite the rosary while waiting for the enemy to come within range. The Spanish victories over the Dutch in the sea battles were attributed to the Virgin. The original image was enshrined at the Santo Domingo Church in, Quezon, in Intramuros until World War II destroy the church. The original image is currently enshrined at the Santo Domingo Church in Quezon City.
Acknowledgements again to Miss Josefina Ku of the Familia Ku, who serves as the camarera of the image. The family is from Quezon City. Acknowledgements again to the Philippine Red Cross for their assistance to the Grand Marian Procession 2022. Maraming salamat. Maraming salamat, Philippine National Red Cross. Our next image is more popularly known as the Nuestra Señora de la Correa, or Our Lady of the Court. This image is venerated at San Agustin Church in Intramuros, the oldest church in the Philippines. The story goes that when St. Monica was praying for the conversion of her son, St. Augustine, the Blessed Virgin appeared and gave her a belt or cord to wear as a symbol of heavenly consolation. We acknowledge the presence of devotees of the Archdiocese and Shrine of Our Lady of Consolation and Sincture and Parish of Immaculate Conception, Order of St. Augustine. We also thank Reverend Father Edwin E. Hari, OSA, Rector, and Reverend Father Reynante Balilo, OSA, Parish Priest. Thank you, Holy Rosary Youth Band 2014 from Rosario Cavite. Once again, thank you, parishioners and devotees from the Archdiocese and Shrine of Our Lady of Consolation and Sincture and Parish of Immaculate Conception, the Order of St. Augustine. Intramuros, Manila. Nuestra Señora de la Consolación y Correa. Once again, we acknowledge the Rector, Reverend Father Edwin E. Hari, OSA, and Parish Priest, Reverend Father Reynante Balilo, OSA. As well as Reverend Father Ricky Villar. Father Villar is the Museum Director of the San Agustin Museum. Once again, we would like to acknowledge the parishioners from Intramuros, Manila. Viva la Virgen!
Okay. We would like to honor the memory of Don Conrado Escudero, who was the chair of the Comité de Festejos of the Grand Marian Procession, from the very first Grand Marian Procession to the 40th Grand Marian Procession, from 1980 to 2019. La festejada, la Virgen Inmaculada Concepción, Mater Purísima, ¡Viva la Virgen! ¡Viva la Virgen! ¡Viva la Virgen! The image is from Intramuros Manila and is from the Intramuros administration. The, the image is joined by members of the Republica Filipina Reenactment Guild headed by Mr. Alex Avila and Joshua Matipo. We also have the employees of the Intramuros administration headed by its officer in charge, Mr. Edgardo Baisic. We also have Father Jay Lina, the chairperson of the Comité de Festejos, Bishop Dennis Villarrojo of the Diocese of Malojos. Okay. 
We would like to acknowledge the chairperson of the Intramuros administration, the Secretary of Tourism, Cristina Frasco, as well as the members of the Board of Administrators, and the officer in charge of the Intramuros administrate, administration, Mr. Edgardo Baisic. Also with us are the Hermano and Hermana Mayor, Maria Victoria T. Burgos and Mr. Danilo L. Dolor. Acknowledgements to the employees of the Intramuros Administration as well as to the Working Committee for the Grand Marian Procession 2022. Acknowledgements as well to the Chairperson of the Grand Marian Procession Working Committee, Ms. Sandra Martinez, and Vice Chairperson, Mr. Jeffrey Yap. Viva la Imaculada! Viva la Imaculada! Viva la Imaculada! Thank you to the Philippine Army Band for accompanying the image of Immaculada Concepcion Mater Purissima from the Intramuros Administration Museum Collection. Thank you to the Armed Forces of the Philippines for always being supportive and being our partners in holding the Grand Marian procession every year together with the Cofradia de la Immaculada Concepcion Incorporated and the Intramuros Administration. The Festejada will be back, so if you would want to wait, the Festejada will be back for a closing prayer and final blessing. Thank you very much to everyone who came after two years of the pandemic. 